Modern media and broadband operations generate vast amount of data. The data engineering required to properly deal with so many data sources, ingesting it and analyzing it in function of the insights you need, can be very time consuming. Your analysis outcome might become obsolete before it's even completed. This is where Data Miner Genetic Querying Interface comes in. Keep watching to learn more. The Data Miner Genetic Querying Interface, or GQI for short, consists of a single query language and API that allows you to query, filter and aggregate any of the vast amount of data in your data lake. If you can access it, GQI can ingest it. In this video, we will go through the basics of building up a query and what parts compose it. This is a data miner app created beforehand for demo purposes in our Xena demo system, which, by the way, is public and accessible to you. So give it a visit and play around with this or any of the available demos. We will be using an empty page to build up a query and visualize its resulting data. If we go into Edit mode, under the Data tab, there's a Query section. This is where you create queries. You can do so by clicking on the plus button and assign it a name. This is the Query Builder, where you'll find the building blocks that compose a query. Those would be data sources and operators. Data sources identify which data should be fetched can be any type of data, like bookings, alarms and even people. Data could also come from anywhere, from data miner or any external source. Any data you can access, be it through a RESTful API or a database, is data that can be ingested by GQI. Here, in the Query Builder, data source is the very first thing you need to select. In this drop-down are all the different options. If you want to fetch data from an external data source, you use Get Adoc Data, but we'll dive further on this in another video. All others fetch data from your data miner system. Let's start simple and get some alarms. This is the operator. It lets you manipulate data coming from the selected data source. In the drop down, you will find a list of all different available operators. Aggregate allows you to calculate averages, sums, minimums, and so on. Column manipulations let you create a new column based on other pre-existing columns. For example, creating a date column from an existing timestamp column by removing its hour component. You can filter your data, for example, getting only the alarms that have a critical severity. Let's do that. Operators can be sequentially chained together which is why I can keep adding more if necessary. Join is a table operation that lets you combine two tables related to each other through common columns. This one lets you display only the top N results, like showing the top 5 temperature values for example. Finally, instead of displaying all existing columns on your results, the SELECT operator lets you display only the columns you wish to see in your results while omitting others. Now that we have built a very simple query, we want to see its results. For this, you can drag the query onto the canvas and pick a visualization. There are a bunch of visualizations supported. Tables, pie and donut charts, state labels, node edge graphs, column and bar charts and more. Lots of visualizations for different needs. Let's go with the table to see our filtered alarms. This is one of the most simple queries you can do, but hopefully it's enough to understand its basic mechanics and get you started. Like I said, the Zine demo system is public, so you will be able to find additional diverse examples in the dashboard app designed to help you dip your toes in GQY. Here, you can see examples like people who most edited views in this data miner system displayed in two different visualizations, hidden and most popular elements, and so on. If you go into edit mode, you can see exactly how these queries were built and use some of these ideas to do some querying of your own. Want to learn more? Visit our Open Dojo community to find more information about GQI as well as anything and everything ICT, media and broadband.